In a glossy video release days before the European Parliament elections, Francis Farright double act appeared side by side in brilliant white shirts to deliver their final address. Do your patriotic duty, said Marine Le Pen, the leading figure of the National Rally RN Party and de facto frontrunner for the 2027 presidential election. I ask you to go to vote for Jordan Bardella. Offer France the most beautiful victory. The video has notched nearly 5 million views since it was posted on Bardella's wildly popular TikTok account two days ago. It's part of a slick political rebrand. Overseen by Le Pen and her 28-year-old party president Bardella, that has allowed the RN to shed its racist reputation as the former National Front and storm to victory in Sunday's vote. The RN's strong showing, which forced Macron into calling a snap legislative election that could finally hand the far-right real power in France, is partly due to the formidable political tag team that Bardella and Le Pen have formed. Experts said. They have fused youthful enthusiasm with battle-hardened experience to devastating electoral effect. They are very complementary, said Philippe Malier, a French politics professor at University College London. The sharp-suited Bardella, son of an Italian immigrant mother who grew up in the rough outskirts of Paris, has polished the RN's reputation, Malier said. Bardella also broadened its appeal by attracting younger, blue-collar voters hit by inflation and job insecurity to a party once known for an older, middle-class and arch-conservative clientele, he added. The RN won in every major age group in Sunday's election. Except among the over-65s, where it was tied with Macron's ticket, according to a BFM TV exit poll. Overall, the RN won 31.37% of the vote, the official tally showed, more than double the Macron coalition's 14.6%. Emil Chabel, professor of contemporary history at the University of Edinburgh, said Bardella and Lupin had detoxified the RN by retooling it as the party of the working class. While they have retained many aspects of the party's DNA, especially its anti-immigration policies and a hostility to Islam, they have managed to wrap this up in a protectionist language. That appeals particularly to a younger middle-aged demographic, he said. In 2024, the RN can fairly lay claim to being the party of the French working classes. Bardella will be the party's candidate for prime minister in the upcoming early election to be held on June 30 and July 7. RN Deputy Chairman Sebastian Chenin said on RTL Radio on Monday. On his TikTok account, where he has 1.5 million followers, Bardella often posts videos of himself with adoring young fans. In acerbic TV appearances, he has distinguished himself as Lupin's clean-cut attack dog, Malia said. It's a convenient arrangement for political purposes to let Marine Lupin fully concentrate on the big prize. The 2027 presidential election, he said. However, alongside his pugnacious media presence, Badella has often let himself down with unforced errors and gaps on the nitty-gritty of policy. Molière said. Lu Pen might fret that as Prime Minister, Badella's inexperience could lead to charges of incompetence, potentially dooming her 2027 chances, he added. And even before the snap vote, Badella is likely to face a grilling on issues outside his comfort zone, especially on economic policy in Ukraine, a source close to Macron said. For legislative elections, he will be more exposed, the source said. He will be asked, who do you name for finance minister? What do you do for your first 100 days? Alternatively, if Bardella shines, Lu Pen, 55, may fear being eclipsed by her young protégé. If he looks more appealing or successful, there might be attempts to make him the 2027 presidential candidate, said Sudhir Hazarizing, 
A French politics expert at Oxford University, especially S. Lupin has already lost three presidential elections, two of them, to Macron. But Bardella is still very young, so he can afford to wait a little. And let her fail rather than look too ambitious.